light of guidance the 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 light of guidance الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله مرحبا خوش آمدد ويلكم to one and all to another wonderful exciting beautiful episode and سلسلة uh, of this wonderful series known as The Light of Guidance. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, we are broadcasting this beautiful episode and silsila all the way from Johannesburg, South Africa. This beautiful episode, your beautiful episode, your favorite episode known as The Light of Guidance. Yes, in this beautiful episode, we are discussing some beautiful uh, matters pertaining to the Deen of Islam and uh, particularly some topics which are very beneficial for our youngsters and many a times we do discuss some great personalities uh, you know if a month is associated to some distinguished personality then we do discuss the life of that personality and then in his in the blessings in the light of his beautiful life we then take lessons for our youngsters for our youth subhanallah subhanallah before we begin our discussion let's all listen to a beautiful uh, narration regarding reciting durood upon nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam very beautifully nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam has mentioned that the one who recites durood salutations salawat salam 1000 times upon me daily will not die until he sees his place in jannah subhanallah subhanallah sallu ala al habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam salatu wa salaman alayka ya sayyidi ya habibi ya rasulullah sallallahu ala muhammad al nuri min nurillah mashallah alhamdulillah this is also a very beautiful i can say wazifa from the court of nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that a person who wants to make the didar and the ziyarat of nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that too My Nabi Sussam gave basharat, gave good news that he will not die till he sees his place in Jannah. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. So, inshallah, Azza wa Jal, recite durood upon Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam abundantly, excessively, and inshallah, before you leave this world, you will see your place in Jannah. And with the bottom of your heart, if you read with this intention that you want to make the ziyarat of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Subhanallah, you purify your actions, you purify your heart, and then you recite durood wholeheartedly. Then my Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if he wants, yes, he can grant you that beautiful vision. Allah, 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 and Qibla. مفتی اعظم ہند ویری بیوٹیفلی سیز انہیں نہ دیکھا تو کس کام کی ہے یہ آنکھیں کہ دیکھنے کی ہے ساری بہار آنکھوں میں بٹ اف یو ڈنٹ میک زیارت آف نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دین واٹ یوز آر دیز آئیز واٹ 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 از دا پرپز آف دیز آئیز کہ دیکھنے کی ہے ساری بہار آنکھوں میں سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ ان ادر ورڈز دا پرپز اینڈ دا مقصد آف آور آئیز از جسٹ ٹو میک زیارت آف نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اللہ اللہ دیٹس وائی وی سی ان دا لائف آف دی صحابہ کرام مینی صحابہ کرام آفٹر دی فزیکل ڈپارچر آف نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آفٹر مائی نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم میڈ پردہ فرام دس ورلڈ فزیکلی مینی صحابہ کرام you know would just move around quietly and sad and they wouldn't speak to people they wouldn't they wouldn't smile they wouldn't uh, you know they it, it's as if you know their light was taken away from them everything is taken away from them and everything is dull uh, you know you you get a person in today's world in today's time he let's say he lost his job he lost his family he lost his car he lost everything and that person will just be sitting and you'll see he'll he'll be you know quiet and won't speak to anybody he'll be dumbfounded and you'll ask him what happened and he won't even answer you you know when a person is totally broken so without any comparison that's how the beloved sahaba ikram were when the beloved nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam made parda from this world because that beautiful noor that noor of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that beautiful manifestation of the noor of allah that the beauty that jamal that husn everything which they used to see every day allah allah was now being removed and it is as if there's a veil between them allah allah allah, allah. so it is as if their heart was broken their life is broken into pieces so that's how much i would say love and how much excitement they would have when they would make the ziyarat of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam subhanallah subhanallah so definitely and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us the beautiful vision the didar of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam inshallah alhamdulillah 
Today we are going to be discussing a very beautiful topic, very beautiful personality who is Sahabi Rasul Katib Wahi. He is a beautiful brother-in-law of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. And definitely he is a Jannati because he is a beautiful Sahabi. This is Sayyidina wa Mawlana Sayyidina Amir Muawiyah. Radiallahu ta'ala anhu subhanallah what an excellent personality what a beautiful personality what a perfect ruler of Islam Allah 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 inshallah Zawajal, today we will be discussing some beautiful you know aspects from his life from his lifestyle and uh, some beautiful uh, you know lessons which we can take from his life and implement them in our lives as well so my nasihat my advice my uh, request to one all will be that please stay with us today inshallah so till the end of today's silsila and inshallah as soon as uh, the silsila ends you will then find out that you learned a lot about this beautiful personality alhamdulillah in the beginning of every silsila we do have a wonderful question for our uh, viewers our listeners and uh, the question for today, it will be played on the screen as well, is who is known as Muazzine Rasul? So which is that Sahabi? Obviously, if he's Muazzine Rasul, so he's going to be a Sahabi. So which is that Sahabi who is known as Muazzine Rasul? The Muazzin of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Our discussion for today, as I mentioned, is very lovely. This beautiful personality, Katib Wahi, Sahabi Rasul, Sayyidina Amir Muawiyah, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, and we will, and we will be discussing him, inshallah. But um, before we move towards our topic, uh, let us take a short break and listen to a beautiful kalam in the praise of uh, Nabi Sallallahu in the praise of Medina, in the praise of, you know, beautiful personalities, inshallah. And as soon as we return from this beautiful kalam, we will then, inshallah, be joined with a call. And Alhamdulillah, today we have a very uh, wonderful personality, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. And I believe that he has joined us before as well, our beloved Wasim Bhai. Inshallah, he will be with us. Inshallah, we'll be listening to a few words of wisdom from him. And then Inshallah, we'll be, from there, we'll take our program and discuss some more beautiful points, Inshallah, Azzawajal. Uh, but after this beautiful short break, this beautiful kalam, please remain with us. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam Mustafa 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 Ya Rasulallah Ya Rasulallah Mere lafzon me shimso duha مشعلي مدحتي مصطفى هل انتهيكم من جدم غادو اسي اقنات لكني كي يا رب مجكو توفيق دي زندقي اقنات لکھنے کیا رب مجھ کو توفیق دے زندگی میں ان کی ظلفوں کی خوشبو سنگا ہوں ان کی ظلفوں کی خوشبو سنگا ہوں ان کے قدموں کی آہٹ بتا دوں میرے لفظوں موسیقی 
अपना सब कुछ ऊनी पर लूटा दू मेरे लफ्जों में शम सो काफिले जा रहे हैं मदीने और हसरत से मैं तक रहा हूँ काफिले जा रहे हैं मदीने और हसरत से मैं तक रहा हूँ याली पट जाऊं कदमों से उनके याली पट जाऊं कदमों से उनके या कजा को फिर अपनी सदा दू मेरे लफ्जों में शम सो दो मेरे लहजे में बदरो मशाले में दहते मुस्तफा मशाले में दहते मुस्तफा हर अंधेरे को मैं जग मंगा दू मेरी बख्शिश का सामा यही है मेरे दिल का भी अरमा यही है मेरी बख्शिश सामा यही है मेरे दिल का भी अरमा यही है एक दिन उनके रोजे पे जाकर एक दिन उनके रोजे पे जाकर उनकी नाते उन्हीं को सुना दूं मेरे लफ्जों में शम सो दो मेरे लहजे में बदरो जा मशाले में दहते मुस्तफा हो मशाले में दहते मुस्तफा हो के ढल जाऊं यार अब पे करे उस वे मुस्तफा में है तमन्ना के ढल जाऊं यार अब पे करे उस वे मुस्तफा में मुस्कुराऊं अगर संग बर से मुस्कुराऊं अगर संग बर से हर बुरे को भली से दुआ दू मेरे लफ्जों में शम सो दो मेरे लहजे में बदरो मशाले में दहते मुस्तफा मशाले में दहते जब उनकी सुवारी हदीप उनके कदमों के नीचे काश आए जब उनकी सुवारी हदीप उनके कदमों के नीचे खींच कर रोह को तन से बा खींच कर रोह को तन से बा इसकी चादर बना कर बिछा दू मेरे लफ्जों में शम सो दो मेरे लहजे में बदरो मशाले में दहसे मुस्तफा मशाले हर अंधेरे को मैं जग मंगा
a very beautiful kalam in the praise of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, very beautifully recited as well by our beloved Zubair At-Tari. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him abundance of barakah and uh, you know, grant him lots of blessings in his melodious and beautiful voice so he may continue mesmerizing us with his beautiful uh, voice and reciting to us the beautiful praises of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, as you all know, the topic is on the screen as well. But today we are discussing this excellent personality, Sahabi Rasul Katibi Wahi, Sayyiduna Mawlana Amir Muawiyah, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, alhamdulillah. And uh, inshallah, Zawajal, as I mentioned, today we have a call as well, uh, all the way from UK, if not mistaken, our beloved overseen by. So without any further delay, inshallah, we'll move towards our wonderful personality who will be joining us today, inshallah. Wasim bai, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah. How are you, Huzoor? How are you keeping? How is your health? Alhamdulillah, ya laka li hal, Huzoor, how are you? Alhamdulillah, MashaAllah. Wasim bai, where are you calling from at the moment? MashaAllah, currently uh, from London uh, in the UK. Um, and Alhamdulillah, Joining a beautiful program, beautiful topic, beautiful companion, discussing, mashallah, Allah bless you. So currently, alhamdulillah, uh, we have the honor of uh, joining your program, all the way from our London studios, alhamdulillah. Zakallah Wasim Bhai, Alhamdulillah, as you all, as you know, our topic for today is this excellent personality, uh, Sahabi Rasul Katibi Wahi, Sayyidina Amir Muawiyah, radiallahu ta'ala, who is Sahabi, son of Sahabi, mashallah. And uh, mm-hmm. without delaying a bit, let's quickly go towards this beautiful personality. And inshallah, Zawajal, uh, after discussing him, then we'll move towards Sahaba Ikram in general. A few uh, points, inshallah, which you would like to share with us regarding this personality, inshallah. Mashallah. Uh, again, Ibn Amir Muawiyah, radiallahu anhu, scribe of the Prophet, Latibi Wahi, and someone who's been extensively praised by the Prophet, والسلام, and by the companions as well. Someone who left a great legacy in the history of Islam and uh, the remarkable achievements that we find in the history of Islam, mashallah, which were uh, accomplished by Amir Muawiyah radiallahu anh, are written in golden words in the history of Islam. And the rank, the status that Amir Muawiyah radiallahu anh, possessed, um, the honor that he radiallahu anh, had, um, there are many, many perspectives that we can look at the seerah of Amir Muawiyah radiallahu anhu from, but um, the fundamental uh, reason, Hazur, that we look at the greatness of um, Amir Muawiyah radiallahu anhu and any companion in general is the love that they possessed for the Prophet wasalam, And it was the love for the Prophet wasalam, that elevated their ranks to the, uh, to the stations which are beyond our imagination. And the love that Amir Muawiyah radiallahu anh possessed for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and the Ahlul Bayt, that was second to none. And there are many, many examples that we find in the history where Amir Muawiyah radiallahu anh expressed his love for the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam for the Ahlul Bayt, or especially in particular, uh, particularly for the fourth caliph of Islam, wala mushkil kushya Ali al-Murtaza karram Allahu ta'ala wajhahu al-kareem, how he expressed his love for Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anh. That was amazing. Now, when we uh, quickly talk about um, the love that he possessed for the Prophet we can get a gist of it only from his will that he left at the time of his passing, um, where how he left the will of him being uh, shrouded. And what was his shroud? It was um, Amir Muawiyah radiallahu anh, he had uh, one upper garment, lower garment, one shawl of the Prophet والسلام, as well as some of the best hair of the Prophet والسلام, and he left a will at the time of passing that he should be shrouded in those blessed clothes of the Prophet والسلام, and the blessed nails and the blessed hair of the Prophet والسلام, that he was in possession of. He left a will for them to be spread over his uh, face and uh, upon his nose and upon his chest. This was, and then he says that then hand me over to Arham al-Rahimin. This was his love for the uh, those uh, things that were associated with the Prophet ﷺ. Imagine the love that he would have for the Prophet ﷺ himself. And when we talk about um, his uh, love and the superiority that he gave to Mullah Mushkil Pusha Ali al-Murtaza, Karram Allahu Ta'ala Wajahul Kareem, once uh, there was a person 
uh, who gave divorce to his wife using certain words. And this issue went to uh, Sayyidina Ali Karramallahu Ta'ala Bajawul Kareem. And Sayyidina Ali Radiyallahu Anhu, he gave the issue of the ruling of divorce to them. Then afterwards came the time of the caliphate of um, Sayyidina Amir Mu'awiyah Radiyallahu Anhu. And that person went to Amir Mu'awiyah Radiyallahu Anhu as well and said that, you know, Sayyidina Ali uh, Karramallahu Ta'ala Bajawul Kareem, he issued this ruling to us. And to this, Amir Mu'awiyah Radiyallahu Anhu said that for you, we are not going to change the ruling of our faqih, of our um, of our Qazi and you know Qazi is like one of the greatest ranks in Islam so that so, is the love how he showed he expressed for Sayyidina Ali radiallahu and the love that he had for the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. and you see when we look at the uh, other elite individuals of our pious predecessors how they spoke of uh, Sayyidina Amir Mu'awiyah radiallahu and we can see from the Tabi'een, now you see the Tabi'een of different ranks, such as Sayyidina Uwais Qarani radiallahu anh, he is the best of Tabi'een from the perspective of worship and taqwa. So there are different categories in which we categorize Tabi'een to be superior. So Uwais Qarani radiallahu anh, is the best of the Tabi'een from the perspective of worship and taqwa. Then we have Sayyidina Sayyid bin Musayyib radiallahu anh, who is the best of the Tabi'een from the perspective of knowledge. Now Sayyid bin Musayyib radiallahu anh, he is advising Imam Zuri rahimahullah and he was advising him, he mentions the virtues of Amir Mu'awiyah radiallahu to him. He says, Oh Zuri, listen, he who dies in the love of Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman and Ali testifies to the Ashura Mubashara to be the dwellers of paradise and supplicates for mercy for Amir Mu'awiyah that it is upon the mercy of Allah to not be hard in taking his account. So along with the love of Qulafai Rashidin and Ashura Mubashara, he also mentions that he who supplicates for mercy, supplicates for mercy for Amir Mu'awiyah then it is upon the mercy of Allah to not be hard in taking his account. And then uh, Abdullah bin Mubarak radiallahu anh, he, is, he was asked a question once that is Umar bin Abdul Aziz superior or is Amir Mu'awiyah superior? Now bearing in mind that Umar bin Abdul Aziz was also tabi'i. So Abdullah bin Mubarak rahimahullah, he replies, the dust that flew of the hoofs of the horse of Amir Mu'awiyah and the dust entered the nose, nose of the horse of Amir Mu'awiyah, even that is, you know, superior than Umar bin Abdul Aziz. So these are, um, you know, the uh, what our noble predecessors, they've um, mentioned about Amir Mu'awiyah radiallahu anh, and when we talk about uh, the student of Imam Bukhari and many other ulama, they've written many books on the virtues of Amir Mu'awiyah radiallahu anh. Ibn Abi Dunya, rahimahullah, he's written a whole book on the Hilm Mu'awiyah, on the forbearance of Amir Mu'awiyah radiallahu anh. And when we talk about the revivalist of Islam, the Imam of Ahlul Sunnah, Imam Ahmad Raza Khan, rahimahullah, he's authored five monographs covering the virtues and defending the honor of Amir Mu'awiyah radiallahu anhu. The list carries on and on and on and on. We can keep talking about the uh, the greatness, the, the the grandeur of Amir Mu'awiyah radiallahu anhu, how other companions, they spoke about him, how the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam mentioned that Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam loves him and Allah loves him. And above all, Zur, you see, the relationship that he had with the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, he was the brother-in-law of the Holy Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. The sister of Amir Mu'awiyah radiallahu anh, she was Umm al-Mu'mineen, she was married to the final messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So this was very briefly in a nutshell way, uh, we, were speak, we were talking about Amir Mu'awiyah radiallahu anh and what greatness he possesses from many, many perspectives. So um, it, we can never uh, do justice when it comes to praising Amir Mu'awiyah radiallahu anh. But again, you know, you can touch upon any... Um, any attributive quality, any praiseworthy quality you can pick upon and you will see Amir Mu'awiyah radiallahu to be a true beacon of guidance in that very field, whether it's humility, whether it is a fear of Allah Almighty, whether it is a love of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, whether it is taqwa, it is piety, whatever you want to talk about, you will see Amir Mu'awiyah radiallahu to be our guide, our master, a beacon of guidance for all of us. Subhanallah, subhanallah, mashallah. Zakina was seen by so uh, very beautifully, mashallah, you discussed this excellent personality and some beautiful narrations regarding Sayyidina Amir Mu'awiyah radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And whilst you were discussing, you mentioned, you know, the respect and the adab, the love he had for 
مولا کائنات مولا علی کرم اللہ تعالیٰ وجہ کریم اینڈ دس برنگز می ٹوڈس مائی سیکنڈ کوشچن دیٹ از انفارچونیٹلی یو نو مینی پیپل ہیو سم مس انڈرسٹینڈنگ اور مس کنسیپشنس دیٹ دی صحابہ کرام ہیڈ سم اینیمٹی اور سم گرج یو نو ام و دی سعادات کرام و دی بیوٹیفل سیدس اینڈ دی اہل بیت آف نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ لائک وائز وائس ورس دی اہل بیت ہیڈ اختلافات و دی صحابہ کرام گرج اینڈ ایموسٹی پرسنل ریزنس وٹ ایور دا کیس واز سو یو نو Apparently, it's totally wrong because we see the love the Sahaba Ikram had for the Ahl al-Bayt. But what would you yeah. advise to such people and people who think these things? You see, um, there are uh, different perspectives through which this issue can be uh, addressed. But uh, fundamentally, if you think about it, I'm uh, leaving the um, academic discussion on the side. If you just think about the entire concept of having love for someone, and we just spoke about how Amir Muawiyah radiallahu anh, Um, left a will for um, the blessed garment and the blessed hair and blessed nails of the Prophet والسلام, be buried uh, along with him and be placed over his body. Imagine someone who loves the things that are associated to the Prophet والسلام, to this extent. Would he have any enmity against the offspring of the same master? It, like, it, if you love someone, the The prerequisite of loving someone is also to love those um, people who are beloved to him. Zur, I love you. Of course, your children, I love them uh, as well. My claim of loving you cannot be fulfilled, cannot be, um, cannot be authentic if I do not love your children. How can I claim to love? Would you love me in return if I don't love your children? This, this doesn't make sense to me or to any Allah. layman. For me to love you or to claim that I love you or have respect for you, I need to have that element of respect and love for your children as well. That is understandable. And when we have the, the, the Ahlul Bayt, the family of the Holy Prophet, والسلام, the purest of the blood, the purest of the families, you know, they are the source of our iman, they are the source of our love, they are the source of our faith. You see, when... An illiterate person like me can understand this, that to reach the court of the Prophet والسلام, we have to go through Ahlul Bayt. Whilst having grudge against Ahlul Bayt, we cannot reach that court. And of course, without going through the court of the Prophet والسلام, we cannot reach the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When an illiterate person like me can understand this, then Amir Muawiyah radiallahu anh, look at his shan, his katib wahi, his tribe of the Prophet والسلام, he noted on the verses of Quran that were revealed. Imagine the level of the academic brilliance he would have, the understanding of the prerequisites for loving the Prophet والسلام, that would be before him. So this is completely irrational to believe that he عنه, had any kind of animosity or grudge against the purest of the household, against the Ahlul Bayt, because this would then lead to many other questions that uh, the, at many other occasions we see. The Prophet والسلام, supplicating for Amir Muawiyah radiallahu anh, would you give me duas if I don't show respect to your children? You know, would you have the same element of respect for me if I don't respect your children? So this is this, this argument is completely irrational that uh, Amir Muawiyah radiallahu anh, did not uh, ma'adallah thumma ma'adallah astaghfirullah had any kind of an animosity towards um, the Ahlul Bayt. So academic discussion on the side, but from a very logical point of view, this is irrational uh, argument to say that he radiallahu anh, had any kind of um, uh, grudge or malice or animosity against the Ahlul Bayt because this would then lead to many other questions where his love for the Prophet والسلام, him being katib, where he, all these questions would also be, all these um, uh, points would also then be questionable. So this is completely irrational and Amir Muawiyah radiallahu anh, duly loved the Ahlul Bayt. There's so many evidences on this from academic background as well, but of course the time doesn't permit me. This was just a small logical uh, reasoning that I've just brought forward, which I hope would have helped the views of Madani Chanel. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Very uh, beautiful and, and logical explanation, alhamdulillah. In today's times, many people do like uh, logical explanations, unfortunately. And very beautiful, you tackled this beautiful um, um, question, I would say. And the last point which I want to keep in front of you, Wasim, by before we take our ijazat, inshallah, is that, uh, as I mentioned, that generally in Sahaba Ikram, Sayyidina Amir Muabiyah is one Sahabi, but we all know besides him, there are many other Sahaba Ikram who are targeted, who people accuse of various things, people in Sahaba them, swear them, madala, whatever the case is. So, in general, if you have to speak uh, about Sahaba Ikram in general, okay, we know the Ahlul Bayt have their maqam, their status, the fadail, the excellence which I mentioned regarding them. But the 
Sahaba Ikram, what is their martaba, what is their status? Beautifully, in short words, if you can please explain to us. You see, Sahaba Ikram, Ali Muridwan, they are those chosen personalities whom were chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the companionship of His beloved Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. All the Ghoth, Qutub, Abdal, Awliya, Abrar, Awtad, since the time of Adam al Islam till today, and all those who will come until the Day of Judgment, all their actions, all their pious deeds, all their offering of Tahajjud, all their recitation of Quran, all their giving of Sadaqat, everything combined together cannot equate to the smallest amount of a deed performed by a Sahabi of the Prophet. Those are those individuals who were chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those are very, very, very special individuals and where the narrations are found where it is stated that companions are like stars. Follow any of them, you will be guided. There is no uh, ex uh, exception over here that, okay, these companions, only follow them, not the others. Okay, these companions are not um, uh, stars of guidance. These are, there's no exceptions. You see, the companions, the, as soon as the word Sahabi comes, the scale of our reverence should go beyond um, every limit because they are not ordinary individuals. They are those who had the honor of being the companion of the Prophet ﷺ and regarding whom the glad, glad tidings has been given that they, Allah is pleased with them. They are pleased with uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And alhamdulillah, wa shaykh tariqat amir sunnah has also given as a slogan that every companion of the Prophet is paradise developer and for their sake inshallah we will we will also attain paradise mashallah jazakallah jazakallah wasim bhai short and sweet short and lovely mashallah in arabic we say khairul kalam ma qalla wa dalla the best kalam is that which is uh, you know it has lots of information but at the same time it's very concise very brief so alhamdulillah in this few minutes 15 20 minutes uh, you covered some many important aspects and very beautifully you made it clear to all our viewers and our listeners mashallah may Allah grant you abundance of barakah in your ilm in your amal may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you the ability and tawfiq to carry on passing the teachings of Allah and his beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the ahli sahaba ikram may Allah ta'ala keep you ever smiling ever happy inshallah keep us in your duas inshallah jazakallah once again assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh MashaAllah. Dear viewers and listeners, that was our beloved and wonderful Wasim by all the way from London, uh, who Alhamdulillah joined us and um, very beautifully shared with us some excellent words of wisdom in this few moments uh, which he had given us and I'm sure he must be busy and he has taken out this time from his uh, precious uh, schedule and timetable. Uh, Jazakallah, we make dua, may Allah preserve him, Alhamdulillah. And some many you know, points of thinking he has left for us, some points which we need to consider and, uh, you know, points of interest which he has left for us regarding Sayyidina Amir Muawiyah, regarding Sahaba Ikram in general, regarding the love which the Sahaba Ikram had automatically for the Ahl Bayt of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because uh, they, they claim their love for Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they prove their love for Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they express and show their love for Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So definitely it would be, uh, you know, total, it, it, it will be the madness of someone to think that they are showing love towards Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and not showing love towards the Ahl Bayt or having an animosity for the Ahl Bayt. These are all futile and I would say, uh, you know, matters which are totally, you know, off the bricket and it, it, it doesn't make sense at all. So as Ahl Sunnah Alhamdulillah, we shouldn't focus, we shouldn't ponder at these things. All these Sahaba Ikram, all the members of the Ahlabit, Alhamdulillah, they had beautiful understanding, love and muhabbat amongst themselves and uh, whatever differences it was, it was for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But at the end of the day, every Sahabi is a jannati, every member of the Ahlabit, subhanahu they are respected, they are wonderful. And yes, they are also the Sahaba Ikram of Nabi Sallallahu the Ahlabit at Har. So Alhamdulillah, they are also jannatis. So our duty is not to move in the discussions of the Sahaba Ikram and move, you know, uh, look at the entire lifestyle and, you know, this one did this, that, that, that he did this, he did this. No, our, our bottom line is just, he is a Sahabi, he is a Jannati. We need to expect, uh, we need to respect him, we need to love him, we need to honor him, we need to follow him. We need to make sure that we are walking on his path because my Nabi Sallallahu gave us this beautiful criteria that 
ይ ህደ ደይቱ ዘድ ማይ ሳሃባ ኢክራማ ላይክ ዲ ስታርስ ዊች ኤቨር ዋን ዩ ፎሎ ዩ አር ጋይደድ ማይ ነቢ ሰሰም ዲድ ኖት ጊቭ ኤኒ ኤክሰፕሽንስ ዘድ ኖት ዶንት ፎሎ ሂም ዶንት ፎሎ ሂም ኖ ዊች ኤቨር ዋን ዩ ፎሎ ዩ አር ጋይደድ ሶ ኢዝ ዘይ አር አወር ሻይኒንግ ስታርስ ዊ ኒድ ቱ ፎሎ ዘም ኤት ዘ ሴም ታይም ዊ ኒድ ቱ ስቴይ ዊዝ ዘ አህለ ቤት አትሃድ አልሐምዱሊላህ ቢጋዝ ኢን ዲ ዘይ አ ዘ ቢዩቲፉል ሺፕ ዊች ዊል ቴክ አስ አክሮስ ዘ ሲ ኦብቪስሊ ዊዝ ዘ ጋይደንስ ኦፍ ዲ ሳሃባ ኢክራም ኤዝ አላ ዘ ቪሪ ቢዩቲፉል ሴዝ አህለ ሱነት ካሄ ቤራ ፓር አስሃቢ ሁዙር ነጅም ሄ or now hey it is rasulullah ki so alhamdulillah the people who are on the path of salvation is ahlus sunnah wal jamaa the people who are on the light of guidance is ahlus sunnah wal jamaa alhamdulillah alhamdulillah summa alhamdulillah so we should be proud that we are sunnis we belong to ahlus sunnah wal jamaa and we should be proud of our belief our aqeedah that there is no you know corruption in our aqeedah there is nothing wrong with our aqeedah our aqeedah is 100% correct 100% strong 100% mazboot and it is firm and steady like a rock alhamdulillah and inshallah it will be like this till qiyamah alhamdulillah and on the day of qiyamah as well you will be in the shaya in the saya in the shade in the shadow of the sahaba ikram the ahl bayt athar the anbiya ali muslim the awliya ikram inshallah and with them inshallah you will be entering jannah as well inshallah 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 to see our jannat se kya matlab you know munafiq all those who are against nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam they saying that what do you have to do with jannat no 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 ham rasulullah ke aur jannat rasulullah ki inshallah so we will be in the company of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam make dua may allah take all of us with our parents in the barga of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam may allah grant all of us death with iman in medina and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the neighborhood of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam in jannatul firdaus amin ya rabbal alamin we have the last few minutes and um, inshallah we'll then be rounding up and concluding our silsila let's take a short break listen to some few excellences more uh, regarding sayyidina amir muawiya after the short break inshallah zawjal we'll then return with our final words and inshallah we'll she will then share the answer for today's question that who was or who is muazzin rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then we'll take your ijazah so be with us inshallah for this last few minutes after this short break will be I with you once again sallu al habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam the viewers of madani channel they do you know that it is in the month of rajab that we celebrate the urs of sahabi rasul sayyidina amir muawiya radiyallahu ta'ala anhu who passed away on the 22nd of rajabul murajab in the year 60 after hijra subhanallah this is the sahabi rasul which has great stature in the court of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and in the court of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he was a true devotee of the beloved nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam and as it is the case of the sahaba of the beloved nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam he has stated ashabi kan nujum fa bi ayyihim iqtadaytum ihtadaytum all my sahaba all my companions Uh, like the guiding stars if you follow any one of them you will be guided subhanallah these are the words of the beloved nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam and it is applicable to sahabi rasul sayyidina amir muawiya radiyallahu ta'ala anhu do we know that sayyidina amir muawiya radiyallahu ta'ala anhu was also a scribe of the revelations that used to come down upon the beloved nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he was the brother of sayyida umm habiba radiyallahu ta'ala anha mother of the believers subhanallah he was hailed as the commander of the first muslim navy he was also the first king of the muslims subhanallah this is the station of sayyidina amir muawiya radiyallahu ta'ala anhu may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for his sake amin bi jahin nabiyil amin mashallah yes this is katib e wahi um Sayyidina Amir Muawiyah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu in katibe wahi you know in english would mean the one who writes the wahi in other words he would write subhanallah the beautiful revelation which would be revealed upon nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam from the court of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, with regards to that i have a very beautiful you know um, you know some discussions regarding katibe wahi and it is very beautifully mentioned in khulasa to seer that uh, Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam had 13 scribes so they were basically 13 writers of Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam who would write the beautiful wahi revelations letters whatever the case was 
And those 13 blessed personalities, number one is Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. Number two, Sayyidina Umar bin al-Khattab radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. Number three, Sayyidina Usman bin Affan radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. Number four, Sayyidina Ali bin Abi Talib radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. Subhanallah. Number five, Sayyidina Amir bin Fuhaira. Number six, Sayyidina Abdullah bin Arqam. Number seven, Sayyidina Ubay bin Ka'ab radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. Number eight, Sayyidina Thabit bin Qais. Number nine, Sayyidina Khalid bin Sa'id bin Al-As radiyallahu ta'ala anhum. Number ten, Sayyidina Hanzala bin Rabi al-Aslami. Number eleven, Sayyidina Zaid bin Sabit. Number twelve, Sayyidina Shur Hubayl bin Hassana. And number thirteen, Sayyidina Muawiyah bin Abi Sufyan radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. Allah, Allah, Allah. And after mentioning this, it is mentioned that Sayyidina Amir Muawiyah and Sayyidina Zaid radiallahu ta'ala anhu carried out this duty more than others. So these 13 were the beautiful scribes but the ones who would write the most for Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi was Sayyidina Amir Muawiyah and Sayyidina Zaid radiallahu ta'ala anhu. It is also mentioned, Lama Qastalani has also mentioned in his beautiful commentary and sharah of Bukhari Sharif that Sayyidina Amir Muawiyah had been the scribe of a revelation of a wahi for the noble Nabi Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah. And then we also find the beautiful, uh, you know, du'as which Nabi Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made for Sayyidina Amir Muawiyah radiallahu ta'ala anhu and one beautiful dua which I have in front of me and I want uh, to share this dua with the viewers and the listeners as well this is also mentioned in Muslim Imam Ahmad this beautiful narration that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made the dua Allahumma allim mu'awiyat al-kitaba wal-hisaba waqihi al-adhab that oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teach mu'awiyah the knowledge of the book Subhanallah, wal hisab and teach him arithmetics, teach him accounts, teach him math, basically. Allah, 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 waqihila adhab and preserve him from the fire of hell, from the fire of Jahannam. And my Nabi makes dua for someone, the dua is immediately accepted in the court of Allah. Allah Hazrat Sayyidi Murshidi Allah Hazrat says, you know, ijabat ka sehra, inayat ka jora, dulhan ban ke nikli dua hai Muhammad. My Nabi makes dua and immediately it's accepted in the court of Allah. So if my Nabi made dua, waqihil adab, ya Allah save him from the fire of Jahannam, then subhanallah, subhanallah, inshallah azawajal and definitely he is a qati jannati so he will never ever even taste the fire of jahannam another beautiful hadith of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned in mishkat sharif nabi sallallahu mentioned allahumma ij'alhu hadiyan mahdiyan wahdi bihi nas wallah make muawiyah hadiyan a guide he should guide others subhanallah wa mahdiyan and a rightful a rightfully guided person Make him guided and he should also guide others. Wahdi bihin nas and guide people, guidance through him, through Sayyidina Amir Muawiyah radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Subhanallah. So this is this excellent personality. And uh, you know, as our Wasimba was mentioning earlier, that uh, so many discussions have been taking place regarding this Sahabi Rasul. And uh, you know, booklets have been written, books have been written regarding his fadail, its excellences. And Alhamdulillah, Maktabatul Madina has also published a very excellent book, Fazani Amir Muawiyah. And for those that want it in the Urdu language, in Bangla, in Hindi as well, it is available on the net. And inshallah, very soon it will be available in English as well. At the moment, in these three languages, Urdu, Bangla, and Hindi, you can get it on the Dawud Islami website. Go to www.dawudislami.net. And inshallah, Zubajal, you can search for it, Fazani Amir Muawiyah, and you will see an insight. Encyclopedia, you know, of this beautiful and wonderful personality, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. So, you know, apart from all of these excellences, the bottom line, as we mentioned, he is Sahabi Rasul. So, in today's time, wherever you know people want to speak, people want to bark, people want to open their filthy mouths against these blessed personalities, as a Sunni, as a Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, as a follower of Sahabi Rasul, of all the Sahaba Ikram and the members of the Ahl Bayt, we should turn a deaf ear. We shouldn't even listen to anyone. We shouldn't even speak to him, sit with him. You know, we should move away from that person who speaks regarding any Sahabi of Nabi Sassan or any member of the Ahl Bayt. Yes, 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 we have no connection with that person. We have no relation with that person. We have no ta'alluq, no attachment with him. No, 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 no. A person who cannot show love and respect towards the Sahabi of my Nabi, then he has no connection with us. Yes, the person who loves the Sahaba Ikram, loves the Ahl Bayt. Yes, and he is an Ali Medin, he is a Sayyid Sahib. And inshallah, he is the crown of our heads. 
but you know as Qibla Amin Rasulullah very beautifully says if a person can belong to any you know great family or great uh, silsila whatever the case is but he does not you know respect Sayyidina Amir Muawiyah then we have no ta'aluk with him no 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 then there is no connection no relation with him whether he has wealth whether he doesn't have wealth whether he is rich whether he is mulana whether he is alim whatever the case is we have no attachment with him so this is one thing which everyone should keep in mind and with this we will inshallah move towards the answer for today's question that who is Muazzin Rasul who is known as Muazzin Rasul the beautiful answer is Sayyidina Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu subhanallah subhanallah yes he was um, and he is the beautiful Muazzin of Nabi sallallahu and Allah 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 his beautiful azan would be echoing in the beautiful streets of Medina and his Sahaba Ikram would love listening to the azan of Sayyidina Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu and undoubtedly he was also a beloved of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he had a close uh, attachment and relation towards Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam although he was a slave but Allah Allah after he was freed by Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq then he had a close attachment towards my Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and my Nabi showered immense love upon Sayyidina Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu subhanahu so he is that Sahabi Rasul who is known as Muazzin Rasul and what a great title this is Hmm? Somebody says, you know, you are Muslim of this masjid, you are Muslim of that big masjid, whatever the case is, but he will be remembered as he is Muazzin of Nabi Wasallam, of the Imam of all Imams, the Imam of Mursaleen, the Imam of all the Anbiya Wasallam, the greatest in the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanAllah, he is the Muazzin of that personality, Allah Allah, so, you know, we are astonished and the beautiful taqdeer and the faith of Sayyidina Bilal radiallahu ta'ala and we have this rashq on the, on the character and the taqdeer of Sayyidina Bilal radiallahu ta'ala and our parents, us, everything we sacrifice on the beautiful dust under the feet of Sahabi Rasul Sayyidina Bilal radiallahu ta'ala and with these few words, unfortunately we have come towards the end of today's discussion. Remember, instill the love of Nabi Sallallahu in your hearts, in your mind, this love of Nabi Sallallahu is the base of your iman, the base of everything you have, this love. By Allah, you have everything, you lose this love. By Allah, you lose everything. We hope to see you soon, inshallah. Till then, be happy, stay happy, and uh, may Allah grant all of you abundance of barakah. Uh, keep us in your duas, inshallah, Zujal. We'll meet again, inshallah, in the next beautiful episode of the Light of Guidance. Till then, be positive, think positive, stay positive, remain positive. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. The Light of Guidance, the Light of Guidance. The light of guidance, the light of guidance, the light of guidance, the light of guidance, the light of guidance.